The Malaysian police have asked Interpol to help locate comedian Jocelyn Chia in America. I guess the question is, what do they want with her? And is this just going too far, man? Yeah, man, this is going viral. I can't believe we're talking about this case again, but it just keeps going viral for one reason or another. Long story short, the Malaysian police publicly came out and said that they hit up Interpol to see if they could question Jocelyn Chia in New York because they're thinking about charging her with an incitement and public mischief law, Andrew, that carries a two-year jail sentence in Malaysia. Ah! So do they have a case? Absolutely not. It's because Jocelyn Chia is not a Malaysian citizen and she did not tell the joke in Malaysia. So actually, there's absolutely no case. There's no extradition laws between U.S. and Malaysia. But... You know, they said it. So did Interpol, AKA the International Police Criminal Organization, the people that are responsible for finding international serial killers, terrorists, arms dealers, bad guys, what did they say in response to this? Well, they said, to be honest, guys, nobody even contacted us, but to be honest, we probably wouldn't even take this request. All right, everybody, there's a whole comment section that we're gonna go through, a lot of different perspectives here. This is the news. We're not here to offend anybody, but we're here to cover it. So please hit that like button, check out other episodes of the Hot Pot Boys as we talk about this and what people are saying. The first comment was, hey, they want Interpol to try to track her down. I mean, she's in New York, case solved. <laughs> I mean, somebody, a lot of people were just saying, what the F, man? The Malaysian government is making themselves a joke. Somebody said, I'm Malaysian myself, and this is totally embarrassing for us on the world stage. I don't like her jokes. I think she is lacking character, but this is way too far. I think that's pretty fair. Like, if you're offended by the joke, if you think it's not good to have that joke on the internet, I mean, I would even say, like, there's a way to get her to, to scrub the internet of it. You know, so that it's not posted. I know she took it off her IG because her Instagram is down and everything like that. But yeah, to try to track her down, even to question her about anything other than the fact that, why'd you make that joke? Somebody <laughs> like, said, hey, I don't want people to hate Malaysia. It's just our government going too far. Now. Malaysia is a fine country. I like living here. I'm Malaysian. And, and just because the Malaysian police said that, I don't know if that's necessarily a direct order from the Malaysian government. I don't know if the Malaysian government is here just fake caring or do they really care i don't know somebody just said man what is going on in asia they're just tripping over a joke why are they so sensitive and a lot of people in the west we acknowledge this in the previous video they just cannot wrap their head around this right like a lot of people in the west are just like wait what yeah they I, want they did it, what and it, then now they're asking the interpol what no no i want to defend people who are offended by this joke for a second because i think that when you take it out of context, out of the comedy cellar in New York City, and you place it on the international stage, it does mean something different, right? It does do a little bit something there. It shouldn't do a lot, and it shouldn't have a big impact, and it shouldn't incite rise. It shouldn't incite and, and, and bring up some underlying beef and reignite it, and it shouldn't turn into anything. That is ridiculous to think it does, but... But people can be offended because, you know, they have to live in those countries. Yeah, this next comments were, uh, man, if the Malaysian government doesn't like Jocelyn Chia, why are they making her so famous? She is going to be 10x to 100x more successful now because they keep putting her name out there. And she even had to tweet herself being like, thank you guys for helping me write my new Netflix special. It writes itself. Yeah, I mean, this is a crazy amount of drama and she is definitely more famous after this and uh yeah i don't know we'll see if if netflix puts out her special and then if the malaysian government blocks netflix for that reason right or, or if it'll even air on the malaysian version yeah. of netflix because different countries do get different content pools or, or black blackmails netflix and is like hey netflix if you <laughs> want to post jocelyn chia special we don't want netflix in malaysia at all that would be crazy to turn it into this the hey. east versus west thing i don't know Somebody said, uh, well, why are they trying to track Jocelyn Chia? Why don't they just track the missing flight? And then a lot of people were just like, listen, guys, Malaysia has to clean up its act, and then maybe people won't joke about you. Mm. I mean, long story short, Andrew, do you think it's true that things that get joked about a lot, like they give a lot of ammo to the other side, whether it's fair or unfair? I mean, a lot I mean we, we know, I mean, as a... Uh, you know, we're, we're just like Chinese American. People joke a lot on China, but I have to admit that China gives them a lot to work with sometimes. No, yeah, for sure, man. It's just like joking about anybody. It's like it happens enough so that people see it. It may not, the numbers or the statistics might not be always there, but what people observe and what people feel is how 
they're gonna make that's the perception that's how much right they're gonna like, make jokes about it like people make jokes about the pre-existing perception right or else obviously if you make a joke about a non-pre-existing perception the audience won't laugh yeah you have to make jokes about pre-existing general observations that general people understand somebody said it shows how lucky we are to be in the usa where we have the freedom of speech and the bill of rights do you think in moments like this you go oh man it, it really is different over there yeah and it's true you know with america's uh First Amendment of being able to say freedom of speech, it does allow jokes to go harder. Like, jokes hit hard in America, man. That's the type of comedy out here. It's roasting you, roasting the politicians, roasting your moms, roasting dead people. You can roast anybody. Somebody said, uh, and this regards to uh, Malaysia, but also the recent cancelization of uh, Uncle Roger in China, Andrew. Uh, uh, why do countries want capitalism and the good parts of Western society along with the products, but then they want to keep authoritarian government systems? David, do you believe that those things are not mutually exclusive? Like you, if you have capitalism and business, then you have to have freedom of speech and democracy. I actually think you can have a mixed system. I mean, everybody just sets up their systems however they set it up. They feel like they can, the pros and cons, and they have to live with it. But yeah, it is interesting because with capitalism, in Inevitably, there is a clash, right? Because especially when you import like Western style capitalism, it's going to come with some more traits of freedom of speech. But th those countries might not have that. I don't know. I think there's plenty of countries that are doing well that do not have freedom of speech. Like, I'm well, pretty Singapore doesn't even have freedom of speech. Yeah, I'm pretty sure a place like Dubai has uh, plenty of capitalism. Yeah, maybe it has a lot more to do with the execution than actually what you just say you do or do not allow. Somebody said uh, the government is overreacting on purpose to look like they care. The Malaysian government doesn't actually care. And there was a bunch of conspiracy theories actually surrounding the, the downing of the plane itself to all these internal clockwork things that obviously in America, Andrew, we're not thinking too much about like the internal workings of the Malaysian government. But, you know, there was a ton of comments about mm, it. Yeah. Somebody said durian is an export from Malaysia. That is the true crime. That fruit is a weapon of mass destruction. Um, long story short, Andrew Jocelyn Chia also left a comment that was pulled as an excerpt from a uh, from an interview she did, where she said, "You know, Americans they just like harsher, edgier humor, and in Asia they just can't take it." And uh, I did some research, Andrew. There's technically four styles of humor. Two of them are nice and more relatable. Two are kind of more harsh and edgy. In Asia, they tend to like affiliative and self-enhancing humor. Mm -hmm. In the West, they like self-defeating and aggressive humor. In Asia, it's probably like an 80-20 split in terms of the more like nicer styles. In America, it's like 70-30 more towards the meaner styles. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, is this just like show a huge cultural difference? Because there's four styles of comedy, but in Asia, they use two of them way more than in the West. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I think so. I, again, you know, not every country that speaks English has the same type of humor or tolerance for jokes, guys. And and th that's a cultural difference. I don't blame Malaysia. I don't think the entire globe has to have the American sense of humor. I think that different countries run on different uh, uh, freedom of and speech And they should, because and, not, a lot of other countries, not, not America, are way more traditional. Yeah, yeah. You can't make every country like America, but... I think that reaching, making this an international thing is a little bit stepping too far. But anyways, guys, overall, my takeaway is this. I think a stronger statement from the Malaysian government would just be like, we are banning Jocelyn Chia from performing or entering Malaysia. Like, boom. And then, like, just saying that is a cold, quick way to discipline someone i'm not saying they should do that by the way I'm right, not i think that the banning of her passport would actually still be a pretty big deal on a national stage too. yeah but i'm just saying like you just do that don't don't make it this thing like oh the malaysian peace as the international police organization Right, because it almost becomes like the international people and the resources oh. versus malaysia now where they're like i, I don't want to do interpol bro that's like what what Ethan Hawke from, from Mission Impossible and, and James Bond and all these secret agents. That's who they deal with is Interpol. That's where I hear about, oh, you know, Interpol. Blah, blah, blah. That's a, it's, the, it's, the, it's the police organization that rules the world. It's crazy. You mean they're going to pop up at Asianology, our comedy show, and be, <laughs> be questioning Jocelyn? I mean, long story short, man, I definitely think that it's very interesting in this internet day and age. You don't really know what's real outrage fake outrage and fake outrage that gets stoked to the point because they could see some sort of incentive for it to, you know, 
push their agendas that turns into real outrage. It's yeah. all very, very gray, and it's yeah. very unclear. Also, Andrew, do you think that comedy's dying? So whether or not people on the left are offended by uh, an offensive joke or somebody on the right, like Trump is mad that SNL's roasting him all the time, does it feel like comedy has more parameters on it now than it used to? Yes and no. I feel like comedy is kind of coming back. So I guess it'll be interesting. I do think maybe Jocelyn wants to rethink saying that joke again ever. I don't think she needs to say that joke again because I think the joke got a lot of views and made its impact already. Uh, so or just tweak it, though. Yeah. I don't think you should let that make you gun shy for the rest of your life. You know, right. in terms of, by the way, when I say gun shy, I'm literally just talking about jokes. Right, right, right. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess... I guess we'll just see. Time will tell. And uh, obviously, I think, you know, people just to take a step back, you know, it was a joke, but she's not setting out to have some like international campaign against Malaysia. That's not what her career is about. And that's not what she's going to make it about. I so. mean, these are comedians, not politicians. And Jocelyn Andrew was actually born in America. So I don't know, guys. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. It's going viral right now. We're the Hot Pot Boys. Until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.